One of the Emacs features that I just can't live without is I Do Mode, which is short for Interactively Do. And it's kind of a shortcut for opening up files and switching between files. So I'm going to enable that for this Emacs installation. I'm going to say uh, Meta X Customize Group I Do. And we've got a bunch of options here. First of all, I'm going to globally turn on both buffer and file mode. Uh, so I do will be will be enabled for switching buffers and switching files. And let's see what else. And I'm going to turn on flex matching, which uh, just enables somewhat fuzzier matching. And I'm going to set those options, I'm going to save them for the future, and get out of here. Now when I go to switch buffers, uh, control X, B, uh, the appearance of the buffer list is a little bit different. So one thing I can do is I can hit control S uh, in the mini buffer now, and I can just cycle through the, uh, the available buffers. Control R goes in reverse. But what's really nice here is I can just start typing. Um, I can just start typing letters here, and it narrows down uh, the selection until I find the file that I want. Now this also significantly changes find file. So when I do a find file, I do a Control X F. Um, the uh, the appearance is is again a little bit different. And uh, one of the first things that's noticeable in, in the I do version of find file is if I'm looking at a, uh, if I'm at, the, at, a, at a slash in the uh, file path, I can just hit backspace and immediately go up a directory, up a directory. And you can see that it's actually listing out the contents um, of the directory right there at the prompt. And I can start uh, typing some letters to narrow things down. Uh, I've narrowed it down to this app directory. When I hit enter, it drops down uh, and starts showing me completions for the next level down. And uh, I can start typing again, complete, enter to go in. If I decide that's not where I wanted to go in, hit backspace to go up a level. Um, very, very convenient. Uh, and there are some other conveniences here as well. So you can do, um, if I just type a, an extra slash here, uh, two slashes in a row, it pops straight up to the root directory, so I can uh, just start, instead of backspacing all the, all the way to the top, I, I can just type two slashes to start at the root. I can also type a tilde and a slash to go straight to my um, to go straight to my home directory. So, um, yeah, this is, this is just uh, something that I, since using it, um, for a long time, I absolutely can't live without, so it's one of the first things that I enable uh, in a new Emacs installation.